Boom. Happy Friday everyone, hope you're having a good one. Uh, I'm looking forward to this weekend now because please God, we just get into the house this weekend. I'm actually leaving work early today and try and tie this up in a bow. <laughs> I told Vicky that this is gonna be a lot of work and uh, you know, just go with the flow because shit happens. And Murphy's Law, shit happened every day. But you know, I'm a man, I fucking deal with it, I don't mind. Wow. Yeah, I'm taking a trip down to Wexco, the great Wexco. There's some lovely Wexicans down there. And they're gonna give me something for the weekend. It's gonna make my life, while I'm moving, a little bit easier. And let me tell you, is it cool? No. No, 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 it's better than cool. It is shit fucking hot, double penetration. Sexy as dick! I'm going like a whore now, right? Went home, got changed, and tearing down to Wexford now. I'm pulling up in Carlo. And then get myself some tea because I'm I'm fairly hungry. I never got it. Well, there's a lad part beside me and he's a microwave. I'm a big light bar on it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. One about Carlo. Uh, Carlo people are very timid, very quiet. The guys don't ever fight. Fierce, nice fellas. But they have this ritual going back maybe thirty years at this stage. And when they want to find a partner, what they do is they go into this hall or something. And the women all line up, and a lad will walk in, and he'll shove his hand down his trousers, and he'll rub his sweaty balls all over it, and he'll let the women smell it on the line. And the women then, when they like what they smell, right, they take a piss on the floor, and then stand back. So the man then has to pick which woman he likes, and the one he picks, he jumps in the piss singing Jason Donovan and Connie Malogues, especially for you. It's weird, all right, but, you know... Who are we to say what's weird and not weird? You know what I mean? There's the light bear. Some yolk. I got here, lads. I got here. I'm in Bowlands of Wexford. Ford garage. You're probably saying, oh, what am I going to drive? What am I taking? Now, that's nice. Shiny. Shiny wheels. They're not 20 inch. But they're shiny. Leather seats. She's <laughs> ways I tell you. That's a grand van. She might give the baby bull nose run for her money. Do you know what I mean? She might. That's 185 horsepower in a van. See them racing stripes? An extra 20. An extra 20. There's the man. Well, how's it going? There is the man. There's the salesman. That's after making a fucking ego out of every other salesman for foreign country because none of them have a clue. Why? Right? Stroke me here. Me. <laughs> Show him the money shot. Show him the money shot. Show him the money shot. Watch this. Look at that. There's the beast. She's going to get it, boys. She is going to get it. As long as she can carry a sofa, I'll be grand. If she can carry a sofa, <laughs> we can carry a wardrobe as well. <laughs> Jesus, that is nice. Oh, the hot seat. <sighs> she could keep uh, keep with the Berlingo, the baby bull nose. Jeez, I don't know. That baby bull nose is looking fierce <laughs> over there. So. Jeez, I don't know. Give a tour. Will you give a tour? He says... He says he has All to. He says he has gone. to. He says he has to drain me in because there's so much power. You wouldn't be able for it. I drove a lorry, you know. Did you ever hear that? You drove a Berlingo. <laughs> Baby bull nose. Mine now. This could be a woman. No, it's not a woman. I know. Driving on side of the road. Women are women are great drivers. I'm driving modes. You have normal mode, sport mode, grass, gravel, snow. Nice. Rock. Yeah. Baja mode. Mode sand slash forestry <laughs> mode. Well, seeing that I'm gonna be moving furniture and stuff, I oh, think we'll go for Baja mode. Well, you've got IKEA mode in it either. Oh, See it there, you, but you have to follow all the lines. Oh, no, we'll keep Baja. We'll keep Baja. I said Baja. Baja has the job. We'll go Baja. Get it. Get Once it you done. Go Baja, you never go back. And we'll send it. Send it. Send it. Grand wedding going on. Congratulations to the happy couple, whoever they are. I like this, you know. It's more 
more you drive it, you can kind of feel your gentle swelling. You feel like more of a man. Just 10 speed double clutch gearbox, as smooth as butter. You know, people are looking in the window, they see the big Jeep coming, big Raptor, white arches, and they're like, oh, it must be a big deal, it must be a big deal. And you put down the window, they go, oh, it's David Cooney, it's a big deal. And I go, yeah. Yeah. I fucking am. Home off. Listen. I say yes, 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 yes. Bank manager says no, 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 no. So it's grand to be able to drive it. <laughs> Just driving through the great town of Abilix. The home of Ushi and Carol. Best hurler and best electrician who's ever around the place. And any man that disagrees, well, he'll take the shirt off any man's back that disagrees with that statement. What's your problem? Yeah. Stay fucking walking. Don't, don't even look at it. Scrubs. That's trying to live a champagne lifestyle in a Coca Cola budget. Man, Jesus Christ, on my This Jeep. It's bad for me. Bad for me. I feel like ringing my parents and telling them that they're adopted. That's how I feel right now. That is how I feel. Come on. Come on. Traffic lights are red. I feel when I'm driving this, I should be able to go. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. When you're driving a Jeep like this, you feel like you shouldn't have to stop at red lights. That's the feeling it gives you. But I had to answer the phone. It was Michael D. Higgins. Fucking Michael ringing me, wondering did I want to wait until it got dark tonight and shite in people's letterboxes. I <laughs> said, Mikey, get a fucking grip. I have never done that in my life and I'm not going to start now at 40 years of age and you should really fucking call yourself aside and have a good chat with yourself. Anyway, these are just too low to the ground to show you in any letterboxes. <laughs> He's an awful fucking scumbag deep down that land. He's fucking dead on though. I, he's right crack. He's right crack. So I persuaded him not to go on lamp and deer tonight now. You know? An awful hope. I, I told the lads when I got this vehicle I wasn't going to be easy on it. I was going to test test it out at its limits I mean at its limits so like this is gonna really test it look cushions cushions I gotta see how she goes now I'll just cover this over Jesus this is weird it's getting weird now oh, it's so empty just taking apart the beds I'm not going to cry around, but it is a little sad, a little sad. Just I forgot um, how big it is when it's empty. It's the next owner now. You Look at all the room for activities all the way out as far as here. Darry, you'd need to sell your own house and buy it off, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is there anything that the Bredens can't do? There's David Breden now. The Stone Cold Cowboy, the original, is on the phone. What's he saying? Shall sell them shares in Asian Isle. Sell them. I don't need them. Is that what he's talking about? Tell me something now. Big money deal. That's a huge money deal. Don't say too much. Offshore bank accounts. Yeah. Yep. Switzerland. <laughs> Swiss bank accounts. Fuck. I thought you were dead. <laughs> I see ya. Come on, Dave. Dave, come on. Is that a sleeper car? Well, she's a sleeper. She's a sleeper. Yeah. Spare no expense. No problem. Oh, you were bringing your pleasure room. <laughs> look, look at all the bondage stuff. Oh, Dave, before we start, what's the safe word? <laughs> what the fuck, will you? There's me life in there's me life in the back of a fucking van. That was a, a busy old evening. We got um got nearly all done. We're here anyway. We're spending all evening 
putting together beds and that. Craig said for a plumber, he's well able to put beds and stuff together. And uh, for David Braden, it wasn't for him. Fair play to him. He's a great lad, isn't he, Vic? Yeah. Great lad. I'm Very about I'm about an, an hour late. I meant to wish Connor Quigley from Kilnall County Tipperary happy 21st. But I just, um, I was selfish and I got wrapped up in my own shine. So I apologise. Hope you had a great day. And um, just put the two kids to bed there now because we were just empty and stuff. And... But we're doing not too bad. And here, just have to do a little bit more unpacking and stuff. We still have to make up our bed. What do you think of this, York? Good. You like driving it? Do you like driving it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you press the button on it. There. Look. The button there. You turned it off. <laughs> There's no to sit down. Me and Clark said we can come in, we have to collect glasses and cutlery and stuff. And um It's funny, I was just thinking, you know what I might do? I'm fear sound. If Jeep looks looks big in front of the house. If someone pays two hundred and fifty one thousand for the house, I'd fucking throw in that joke. I'll just throw it in and have it. There's no bother. Shauna, we slept grand last night. You don't be worrying about how we slept. You'll call down tonight show, won't you? And you can um you can look at you can't touch it, but you can look at it. <laughs> I know, we won't be there. I was only I was only joking! Today we are going to buy some furniture, bookcases, shelving because in our house they're fitted so we ended up having none. So we're bringing the Raptor. The coffee cup holders are getting good use, milk bottles. Kids are all in. Nice to fix thing for the Baba and yeah, it's uh, family friendly per se. Daddy, what do you if mean family you're... friendly? You're trying to put Jane in the I was only messing, I wasn't really going to put her in the boot. Do you like it, Clark? <laughs> Just doesn't make everything else look small. Hi, Dad. Hi, Lil. You're a good woman. Like, the Volvo's not small. Like, neither is the van. All right, Clark, put your helmet on. Put your helmet on. Helmet. Find it. You sitting on the fire. You're not gonna burn your arse. Yeah. You burn your arse off yourself. Mm -hmm. Who are you with that you? Like you look on board. I'm tired. Mm. Like a rattle. Garrett's raging. Garrett likes these yachts, you know. What do you think of it? Other than the price, it's fantastic. Fantastic. Would you rather it than the Volvo? I would, yeah. <laughs> we were just in having an old prey. We're in the pond. We uh, have the church closed off for us. So we can have a private prayer. <laughs> There's my uncle PJ after going. Me and Garrett were chatting to him. I, I just like I have a lot of cousins and stuff. And he goes, you know, you and Garrett are my favourite. I love you. I actually love you more than my sons. Do you think Mammy's a good driver? No. No? That's yeah. terrible, Clark. Am I a better driver? Clark, Clark, 
you can't say too much. You can't even drive. She's a good. He's a good young lad. He's a good young lad. Do you know what I just realised? I went to try dodge the pothole, but I said to myself, "That just doesn't matter now, does it not?" How oh, dare you? Have a bit of respect for someone else's vehicle. Like. <laughs> Typical woman way of going on. Shocking. You leave the house for five minutes. Love the whole place is destroyed of people. Look at them all just rocking around. Greg! You're fucking too old for that shite! I think No, but I know that no vehicle comes into the house without Greg having to take a guy into the engine. I don't, I don't know anything about it. But well, I'll tell you everything you need to know. Right? See this? Batteries. Yeah? See this? Yeah. Liquid shit. Goes in around the engine, does stuff. This, this is the the breathing system. So what horsepower is it? She's nine billion horsepower. I know, seriously. <laughs> that's it. That's ah. Check Wikipedia. See this? Hello. What do you think, Craig? Sorry. Are you happy with it? You? I fucking love it. Just swap it for the Berlingo. I'm thinking. Your man's gonna do a straight swap with the Berlingo. Well, if he does, you'll be driving the Kango, me and Gary will be driving this. You mean you're fucking bollocks? <laughs> There's only one big deal here, and that's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, a brother from another mother. Might not be a raptor, but you know what? He tries his best. I hate this bit. I get all nervous. Look. Bouncers. Remember me date of birth. Make sure that I don't look drunk. Craig always looks drunk. Hey. Look at this place, look. Cup holder, and that's the only thing I can think it's for is a pecan slice. Now, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's for a bar of chocolate or something, but today it's for a pecan slice. They say, they say, Craig, that there's nothing more manly than sitting in the back of a Jeep just swinging your feet. <laughs> just like, just giving them a good swing. People will be looking and going, look at them two manly cunts. This dirty little belt. That's nasty now. We won't begin to assume what gender she is. One thing about this yoke, it loves the LDs. Oh Jesus, don't spare it. Give it plenty. Give it plenty. Oh Jesus, she loves it. Jesus, that, that yoke is growing on me. You know, I was just about to, um... Where's me? Where's me dooiki? There it is. I was just about to go down to Mexico to give it back and I rang the salesman Will Butler and I said uh, I'm heading down now I'll meet you in Bunclody or something he goes tell you what David bring her to the wood for the week give her a good fucking test and give her a good driving see what Jeep forestry men really think of a fucking Jeep he says no better fucking book I fucking do it I will do it I said do you not need it though he goes we're selling more Rangers than anyone else in the Southeast. We won't miss it for a week. Give it a good driving. I said, I fucking do it. You know me, I do it all night long. And I will. You loving life? How are you? I love how oblivious they are to everything. <laughs> Vicky's out there making the tea. You're a great woman, Vicky. I love you. All oh, the best. You're the best, isn't she?